for someone who's just uh, starting out, uh, let's say in bug bounties, what would you suggest as a practical and actionable first steps? Okay, actionable, right. Step one, learn how the web works. You should be familiar with how post requests work, how get requests work, the difference between them, um, how parameters work, all that kind of stuff, like the bare bones, how the web works uh, is the number one step because you can't understand how to break something if you don't understand how it's supposed to work. Step two is to get some practical experience. CTFs are great for this, but you can't rely on them completely. So step three is just hack something like this is my number one advice to all of my all of my followers is to just hack something you will learn more in your first five minutes of actual hacking than you will in 50 hours of reading books because bug bounties they're not a theoretical thing right they're practical and the sooner you can move from um you know the kind of cts which are vulnerable to everything to actually realize that web apps are much harder is that's when you start to really really learn very very quickly i actually find that if you want to like if you want to get in very specific in cybersecurity, and if you want to like be a penetration tester or bug bounty hunter the best way to do it or to learn about it is to actually do bug bounties and not uh practice a ctf which in a lot of circumstances might be unrealistic it's to everything yeah it's it's I think it sets you up some unreal expectations, really, of how easy it is to hack things. It's not easy. It's very, very difficult. Um, or no, I shouldn't say difficult. It's very time consuming for what you get for one bug. You can spend hours looking at one target and only find one or two bugs at the end of it. Um, and even if it's about getting into stuff like doing uh, kind of the offensive security certifications, you're then looking at, well, what's your end goal with doing a certification? It's to actually get a job doing penetration testing. The sooner you get started, the easier it's going to be to transition to getting a, a job, essentially, and following your aspirations. What do you think about certifications since uh, you've just uh, got into the field sort of like, I would, I would be inclined to say through an unconventional way, how familiar are you with uh, the certifications, the most sought after certifications in cybersecurity? So I'm, I'm quite fortunate because I'm quite exposed, although I'm not necessarily, you know, your standard cybersecurity person who's been dreaming of doing like penetration to cybersecurity since they were quite young. Um, I am very fortunate that I have friends that are and that have sort of uh, given me that kind of respect for certifications. I think certifications is the same as getting a degree. It's just having somebody else come up to you and say, this person is good at their job. And you know what? You can trust us because we have a company. And I think as long as you're taking a certification in a way where you're trying to not necessarily treat that as almost like the answer to learning about cybersecurity, instead doing it as a kind of proof about what you know, I think it's a really useful thing, and especially for employers to kind of validate how much somebody knows. Should they be relying on certifications completely? Probably not, because there's a lot of people that come to cybersecurity through unconventional means, and they have a lot to offer somebody. However, I think there's quite a lot of value in somebody else ticking a box and saying, yeah, they're good at things. Fellas, check out my Python basics course to learn the fundamentals of Python you need in cybersecurity. There's a discount link in the description. There are a lot of people in cybersecurity that do not have uh, certifications, especially when we talk about bug bounties. Mm -hmm. uh, and they are really, really good. And it's not necessarily that they would have to do. In most cases, a lot of them uh, would not need a certification because their skills and their showcases and the write-ups of the bugs they found actually speak for themselves. But for people who are more into penetration testing, some sort of certification would actually be useful in terms of a filter for HR mm -hmm. people who, who actually look for different sorts of um, points for candidates. And yeah, in I mean, that case, it, it, it would be, I think it would be useful. Yeah, it's the same as a degree. It's like, um, it's just a way to get, to sort of prove your knowledge to people that might be hiring you, in my opinion, anyway. But I, I know a lot of people get a lot of value out of it. So all power to people who do get a lot of value out of it.